Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a can of Schwartz beer by the Cayman Kettle Beer Works out of Font Hill, Ontario, coming in 5% ABV. I had no idea this was still in my fridge. This is brewed January-ish. So February, March, April, we got at least three months or so on this beer, but Schwartz beer is a darker lager. I think they're okay to age a little bit. Regardless, if, if, if things go all the south, you know, then I don't blame the brewery. It's my fault for letting this sit in my goddamn fridge. It's like on the second shelf behind my crisper drawer. I didn't even know it was in there. I'm a genius. That is dark. Oh. I want to say, I, didn't, I don't think I had this beer while I was actually at the brewery, so this should be interesting after the picture. Definitely a darker beer. Just how dark? I'm going to say, like, we'll get through. Wait, really? No? Really? Like, around the sides a little bit, but wow, that's a dark beer. My goodness. I'm mildly surprised. It smells delightful. It almost smells like a stout. Really, really nice roasty aromas. Maybe like a nuttiness in there. Malty heaven. Let's give her a shot. That's still just fine. Sweet, roasty, malty. Deliciousness. Like a bitterness that's like a coffee bean bitterness. If you chewed on a coffee bean, which I have done. I don't like coffee, but I like chewing on coffee beans. I don't know. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> and so many cheers to Dave and person whose name I have forgotten again. I'm not okay with that. Give me a second. All good. Cheers to Dave and cheers to Todd. Yes. And also, another, this will be like the last one, I'm pretty sure. Cheers to the albino rhino for showing me such an awesome time while I was down south. Mm. It's a stout, but not a stout. It's a porter, but not a porter. Like it's got lots in common with both those styles. Just it's it, but it's its own thing, overall. And its own thing is damn tasty. That's delightful. It really is. Kind of happy that I saved it. Uh, it's not a lager. A darker beer. Delicious, roasty, with hints of coffee. It's nice and toasty. Ah, uh, ha, ha. That's it. Really kind of minimalistic can styles from Cayman Kettle. I feel like, like the chalkboard at the brewery where the uh, current beers on tap are listed. Sometimes, not all the time, I can't remember the guy's name, but one of the other kind of owner's daughter, I think it is, comes in and she is like Picasso with chalk. And my goddamn oven is about to make a noise. It's two days in a row. Give me a second again. <laughs> all good. I'm heating up some chili on the stove. And I have my timer going so it doesn't burn. And the timer is pretty much up. It happens. Yeah. CaymanKettle.ca will bring you to the CaymanKettle.ca. Their website has improved. They don't have the... Uh, they seem to have just... I think they had a video right here that wasn't on repeat. I liked the video, they kind of toned that down, and then 
There were issues with the Instagram posts. That seems like it's working now. That's fantastic. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I would love to go back to the Cayman Kettle just because they were undergoing some massive renovations while I was there. More or less, I want to say, doubling their overall kind of uh, size that they have to work with. Expanding so they have now the ability to brew way bigger batches of beer. All they had before was the uh, Demijohns, the kind of wine carboy type things. And uh, yeah, now they've got I, want to, I don't know how many of the big uh, fermenter tanks they got or how many bright tanks, whatever, but I know they have some of the big, giant stainless steel tanks now. Probably for making this beer and their... What the hell is the other one? The minivan, the Kolsch. That's one of their big sellers too, I believe. That's pretty good beer. It really is. I haven't had a lot of Schwartz beers. I've had a couple. I want to say uh, what that Bose Dark Helmet was an Imperial Schwartz beer that I believe I enjoyed quite verily. And that's the only one actually that comes to mind. It's because that was just so well done. It had the whole Spaceballs reference. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Ah, <sighs> oh, great movie. I miss John Candy. Such a great actor he was. Such a funny bastard. That movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, The Great Outdoors, Uncle Buck. John Candy was a really, really gifted comedic actor. And it saddens me that he's gone. Untapped! We got 200 ratings overall, right on the button. 3.88 out of 5. Beer Advocate has nothing. And Rate Beer has a pop-up that I need to click out of. Three ratings overall with a weighted average of 3.16 out of 5. Why is this page like the old pages were? Rate, rate Beer, I hate your web website design overall. It, it sucks. My... My left nut. Yeah. That's what it does. What I'm going to do, take a break. That is damn good stuff. I, I have no idea if the flavor has kind of shifted a bit since... I, I'm sure the flavor is a bit different than it was when it was canned. You know, three months on being 5%. It doesn't really have that higher ABV to hold in some of the flavors as it does. But uh, yeah, it's still completely palatable, very tasty, and um, I'm a big fan. Drink number the last. Cayman Kettle. Dave Cayman Kettle. Your Schwartz beer rating. It's a solid like eight and a half. It's really nice. Doesn't blow my mind. It's not amazing. It's it's really good, smooth, tasty. Good man. Eight, eight, let's go eight point seven five. Bump it up a little bit there. You deserve it. You're an awesome individual. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it. Give that thumbs up button a little bit of action. You want to see more? Subscribe and smack that bell notification so you can be notified when new videos come out. And if you got something to say to me, comments go in the box down below. You tried the beer? Other beers by Cayman Kettle. Have you been there? Have you experienced the amazing hospitality of the people working at Cayman Kettle? Let me know. Start the conversation. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Dalton Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Kind of sad now. It's going to be a little while until I get to try more Cayman Kettle beer, I think. Mm.